hello students this is our lecture number 61 and today in this lecture we will complete the numericals of torsion okay in the previous lecture we have discussed about the theories of torsion so you must remember the formulas regarding torsion each and every formula will be applicable in this numericals so let us start with the first numerical what is given in the data that a circular shaft of 50 mm diameter is required to transmit torque from one shaft to another what we have to find we have to find shear torque which the shaft can transmit if the shear stress tau is not to exceed 40 mega pascal so you must remember the notations now what is given in the data diameter of the shaft that is capital d is equal to 50 mm maximum shear stress that is tau 40 mega pascal mega pascal means newton per mm square what we want to know it is torque then our formula for the torque as per the theory is t equal to pi by 16 tau dq replace the value of tau and d you will simply get the answer in newton into mm so it will be 0.982 and raised to 6 newton mm you can convert it into kilo newton into meter if it is asked otherwise it's okay 0.98 uh, and 2 kilo newton into meter 10 raised to 3 for kilo newton, 10 raised to 3 for meter. So it is converted into 0.982 kilo newton meter. So here is the answer. So this is the very simple numerical. So this kind of numericals can be asked in your GTU exam, in which certain values are given and missing values we have to find. Okay. So these are the numericals based on torsion. Let us see some another numericals too. This is the second numerical in which solid steel shaft is to transmit a torque of 10 kN meter. So here it is, torque is given to you T equal to 10 kN meter. But remember, you have to convert it into newton into mm to do the numerical. So 10 into 10 is to 6 newton into mm. If the shearing stress is not to exceed 45 mega pascal, means tau is given to you 45 mega pascal means 45 newton per mm square. If the shearing stress Is not to exceed 45 mega pascal. Then we have to find minimum diameter of the shaft. What is the formula for the diameter of the shaft? It is again T equal to pi by 16 tau dq. So T equal to 10 10 raised to 6 pi by 16 tau is given to you 45 and dq will be unknown. So by simplification you will get dq equal to this value and d equal to finally 1.04 into 10 raised to 2. So it will be 104 mm. So required diameter of the shaft is 104 mm. So here it is the simple numerical. In the first numerical, all the values are given. You have to find the torque. In the second numerical, the torque is already given to you, and you have to find the diameter of the solid shaft. Let us go ahead check another example. What is given in the third numerical? Hollow shaft. Remember, here it is hollow shaft. So formula will be change. external and internal diameter of course it is a hollow shaft so external diameter is 80 mm capital d and internal diameter small d 50 mm is required to transmit from one end to another what is the safe torque it can transmit again we have to find safe torque t if the allowable shear stress tau is equal to 45 mega pascal so here it is external diameter d equal to 80 mm internal diameter small d equal to 50 mm and tau equal to 45 mega pascal means 45 newton per mm square what we have to find we have to find torque again so torque equal to pi by 16 tau capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 upon capital d this is the formula for the hollow shaft so replacing all the values you will get the answer as 3.83 into 10 raised to 6 newton into mm so it will be 3.83 kilo newton into meter so it is very simple numerical for the hollow shaft let us see one more see this is the circular shaft of 60 mm diameter is running at 150 rpm so here rpm is given to you diameter is 60 mm capital n rpm is 150 if the shear stress tau is not to exceed 50 mega pascal so tau is equal to 50 mega pascal 50 newton per mm square find the power which can be transmitted by the shaft so we have to find power power now so again torque is almost required so t is equal to pi by 16 tau dq So pi by 16, tau is available, d is available. So answer will be 2.12 10 raised to 6 newton mm. So 2.12 kilo newton into meter. The power required, p is equal to 2 pi nt by 60. So 2 pi rpm is 150, torque is 2.12 kilo newton into meter. See, 
here the torque is taken in kilo newton into meter then the power will be in kilowatt only if you take the torque in newton into mm then the power will be in watt so remember this unit conversion also so hence the power is 33.3 kilowatt so this is the numerical based on requirement of the power capacity of the shaft let us see some complicated numericals now some tough numericals now which can be asked in your gtu exam also let us see how this is example 27.7 a hollow shaft is strong is to transmit 200 kilowatt at 80 rpm so here power is already given to you 200 kilowatt rpm is 80 capital n if the shear stress is not to exceed 60 megapascal means tau is given to you 60 megapascal 60 newton per mm square internal diameter is 0.6 so internal diameter is 0.6 of the external diameter actually relation is given to you so small d equal to 0.6 capital d so d is the external diameter in mm what we have to find we have to find both the diameters of the shaft internal and external so for that first of all apply the formula for the torque torque equal to pi by 16 tau d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4 upon capital d as it is a hollow shaft so replacing all the values but small d equal to relation is given 0.6 capital D. So d will be common out and cancel out with the denominator d. So it will be in the term of relation like 10.3 into d cube newton mm. This is the term. Into 10 raised to minus 6 will be multiplied to convert it into newton into mm, kilo newton into meter. Okay. Now what is power? Power is equal to 2 pi n t by 60 but power is given to you 200 kilowatt. So remember it is kilowatt. So here it is taken as kilowatt, so torque will be newton, kilo newton into meter as we have converted already. So replacing all the values, only d is the unknown in the equation. So by simplification you will get this term and again by simplification you will get the diameter 1.32 10 raised to 2 means 132 mm. So replace this 132 in the relation small d equal to 0.6 capital D, then you will get the answer of small d as 79.2 mm. So, this is the most important numerical can be asked in your exam in which we have to find the diameters, inner diameter as well as outer diameter for the hollow shaft and the other values are given for the requirement. Let us see one more numerical. What is given in this? Here you can see what we have to calculate. Calculate the maximum torque. Remember, it is maximum torque that a shaft 125 mm diameter can transmit. So diameter of the shaft capital D is 125 mm. If the maximum angle of twist is 1 degree, here the angle of twist is given to you, means theta. So theta is equal to 1 degree. But remember, whenever the angle of twist is given to you, we have to convert it into radians. So by converting into radian, we have to multiply it by pi by 180. So 1 into pi by 180 is 1 by pi by 180 radian and the length of the shaft is 1.5 meter means 1.5 to 10 raised to 3 mm l what is c modulus of rigidity 70 gigapascal so c equal to 70 gigapascal so 70 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square now what we have to calculate calculate maximum torque so t is the maximum torque what is polar movement of inertia j is equal to pi by 32 d raised to 4 so d 125 given to you so it will be 24 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. Here the polar movement of inertia is available to you. So T by J is equal to G theta by L. Okay. It is our formula for the polar movement of inertia. Now T is unknown. J means 24 into 10 raised to 6 we have calculated earlier. C means modulus of rigidity is given in the data 70 into 10 raised to 3. Angle of twist is pi by 180 radian. And length of the shaft is 1.5 10 to 3. So only T is unknown. You can calculate it, simplify it. You will get the answer of 19.5 10 to 6 newton into mm. Again, converting it into kilo newton into meter, you will get 19.5 kilo newton into meter. This is the torque capacity of the particular solid shaft. When the angle of twist is given to you, then you have to solve the numericals like this. So friends, this is the numerical based on angle of twist and polar movement of inertia. We have discussed polar movement of inertia in the theory portion also. So just revise that portion. Let us see one last numerical and we will complete this chapter. See the numericals in this chapters are very easy as compared to previous numericals. In the
in this numericals you just only have to replace the values required values are given to you and missing values we have to find by just simplification mathematically in your calculator you will get the unknown answer that's it nothing more to do with this numericals let us see last numerical that is 27.10 but this numerical is very tough and very important so please concentrate find the angle of twist per meter length of the hollow shaft of 100 mm external and 60 mm internal diameter here it is written that per meter length so we have to take l equal to 1 meter means 1 into 10 raised to 3 mm the hollow shaft of 100 mm external 60 mm internal diameter so capital d is equal to 100 mm small d is equal to 60 mm we have to find angle of twist means theta remember this if the shear stress tau is not to exceed 35 megapascal so tau equal to 35 megapascal 35 newton per mm square c equal to 85 gigapascal so 85 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square we have to find angle of twist theta so t is equal to torque pi by 16 tau d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4 upon capital d so in this all the values are given to you just replace the values and you will get the torque 5.98 into 10 raised to 6 newton into mm but we have to calculate angle of twist so polar moment of inertia will be required so j equal to pi by 32 d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 by replacing the values you will get the answer of j 8.55 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 now our relation for the angle of twist is t by j is equal to c theta by l so replace all the values of torque polar moment of inertia c theta will be unknown then you will get the relation as 85 into theta so now theta will be sorry this is i think a printing mistake so by simplification of theta you will get 0 0.008 radian now 0 0.008 radian you are taking the values in degrees so to convert the radian into degree you have to multiply it by reverse 180 by pi okay so just multiply 180 by pi with this answer 0 0.008 and you will get the answer of 0.5 degree so you just imagine that by applying so much stress 35 cr stress 35 megapascal cr stress the shaft is twisted only by 0.5 degree so this is the fundamental case the shafts are not subjected to so much twisting that they can fail okay they are subjected to only slight amount of twisting so friends this is the numericals these are the numericals based on torsion okay now this numericals are including all the varieties which will be covered in your exam so just revise this numerical the chapter is going to end over here in the next lecture we will start a new chapter so be ready for that just practice this two lectures one lecture for the theories of torsion and the second lecture for the numericals of torsion we will meet in the next lecture with the new chapter till then thank you